tuned in to the God's Got a Hook in Me broadcast at the old landmark Church of God, Holiness in Christ, number 13, with Bishop Samuel L. Holder. We are located at 696 Mount Zion Road, Suite 4A, Jonesboro, Georgia, 30236. Our order of service is Sunday Church School, 1030 a.m., Sunday Testimony and Praise Service, 12 noon, Tuesday Night Bible Study, 7.30 p.m., and Friday Night Worship Service at 7.30. We ask that you listen attentively with an open heart and let the Lord Jesus Christ come in. Let us receive our bishop, the man of God, with the hearty words of amen. I want to know, do you love the Lord? Somebody say glory. Glory. God's a good God, saints. Amen. But you know, cremation is not of God. That's right. Amen. I'm going to just put that out there. For Amen. those that think they can cremate and get away with it, it's not of God. That's right. Amen. God do not ordain cremation. That's right. I don't care who say they want their bodies to be burnt. God is in control of that. That's right. God do not burn people unless they do something wicked. Amen. He, Amen. he burnt up Solomon and Gomorrah because they were doing Sodomy. Amen. They were man with man, woman and woman. That's, right. That's what they did. That's why right. God burnt Solomon and Gomorrah. That's right. But we as people, as saints of the Most High, say we love God. We don't cremate our loved ones. Right. I'm not going to create my mom, my father, That's my right. cousin, my sister, my brother, because I love them. That's right. If you love somebody, you will not burn them. Amen. You know, if you don't love them, if you hate them, you'll do it. That means you're a devil. That's right. I mean, you ain't loving them to begin with. That's right. But think, please, if you love yourself and love your loved one, don't cremate nobody. That's right. Hey, don't do that That's if you right. love them. Amen. My message today is, as Bishop Hold already told you, Jesus will give you clear instructions for your life. Amen. And my text is men and women need to pray for God's yes. guidance. Yes. Amen. I'd like to get on to my bishop, Bishop Samuel Holder. My elder at the Floor North, Amen. missionaries, Amen. Floor North missionary holder, Mother Marie, my beautiful wife, Amen. Keisha Aycock, the Henry's, my son, and all the saints. God bless you. God bless you. I like to thank God for being the head of my life. I'm saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, Amen. and I come to give you a word from God today, Amen. saints. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Right. My first scripture is Second uh, Thessalonians three ten and eleven. Amen. Second Thessalonians three ten through eleven. For even when we were with you, this we command you that if any would not work, neither should he eat. That's the truth. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, working not at all. But our busy bodies. Mm. Hey, man, look at that. Man don't work, man don't eat. Right, so you can't be at home eating up the chicken, drinking up the Kool-Aid, hey, eating man. up all my cheese. Yeah. I love yeah. some cheese. Eating up all my grits. I got to have me some grits and cheese in the morning. Eating up all my eggs. Eating up all the bologna. Eating up all the peanut butter and jelly. Why am I working? You need to do something with your life. That's you need right. to get up and go to work. Right. Man, woman, you can't be living up off nobody. Yeah. It's hard out there. Oh, yeah. Times are hard. Things yeah. going yeah. up in the world. Oh, yes. The eggs used to be 25 cents a dozen. Now eggs almost $2 a dozen. Amen. Things are going up. People, we got to get out there and work. You got to work for something in life. You can't live off nobody. Everybody need to get up. If you're of age, you need to get up and work. That's right. When I came up in the, wor- in the world, I worked. I got early in the morning and went to work for my grandmother. I went to work uh, pulling weeds. I went out there tilling the field. I got five or ten dollars, you know, to do that. But I worked for something. And I continued to work throughout my life. At one time, I had three jobs to help my family, to support my family. Amen. Because I wanted to do something. Now these jokers, they want to kick in your doors. And break, you kick in my door. That's going to be the last door you kick in. Amen. See, I got protection. I'm going to protect my home, and I ain't going to let you come kick in my door. Amen. See, I grew up in the hood. See, I grew up on the east side. I grew up in Decatur. I'm from somewhere. See, I just didn't get saved uh, when I came and, and came to the church and got saved. They said, okay, well, you say you're good to go. No, I came from somewhere. I used to do some things yes. in this world. See, I'm from this world. See what I'm saying? So I wasn't always saved. So don't get it twisted. I wasn't always saved. Amen. You know, God had to change me. Yes. Now I'm a new creature. Amen. And old things are passed away. Yes. See what I'm saying? You don't want that old willy. Amen. You know, you don't want chill will. Or you don't want pretty willy. You don't want those. <laughs> See, now you, what you want, you want brother willy. Yes. Or you want deacon scrap. That's what you want yes. to come to see about you. Amen. To come and pray for you. Yes. You know, because back in the day, back in the early 80s, early 90s, you didn't want to see me or all my friends when we come to the house. So my thing is, get your life in order. Yes. Get up, go get a job. Get stop a job. living off your parents. Yes. Men, stop living off women. That's yes. right. If that joker in your house playing games all day while you at work, put that joker out. Right. Put him out. That's Call right. the police. Get a restraining order. Put that joke out. Because he ain't no good, he ain't going to marry you. That's right. He ain't going to put no ring on your finger. That's right. He ain't going to do nothing for you but drag you down. That's right. You paying the water bill, the, the, the light, the house note. You putting gas in your car so he can drive around. Right. But you come home, the dish is dirty, the trash ain't been taken out. That's right. And the owner ain't done, why, why you got him? Right. Put that joke out. Right. Put that wicked one out, as the Bible say. That's yeah, because he's wicked, because he ain't helping you. That's right. He ain't helping you That's do right. nothing in your household. Right. All he do is living off you. That's right. he, don't let a man live off you. That's right. Please, please don't let that man live off you. Amen. You're a woman. You work too hard. The man's supposed to be working, taking care of you. That's right. You know the woman's supposed to be the help me. Do right. you see how you out of order? How you, how you out of your lane? You see how things changing around where the man feels like he shouldn't even stay at home and take care of the children? He don't even know how to do the children's hair. That's why the children's hair so nappy. Because the man at home trying to do the hair. That's why they come to school twisting. The children trying to do their own hair. So what they do, they walk around twisting their hair all day. Because they are ashamed of them coming to school looking like that. So now everybody, they don't comb their hair no more. That's why people don't have no combs in their hair. Right. That's why you got to get up and do something, man. That's right. Because that's, you out of your lane. Amen. You out of your lane. That's right. You need to do something that God tells you to do. That's you right. supposed to be the head. You want to be the head? Do what the head is supposed to do. That's right. Do your job as a man and get up, go to work, provide for your family, 
teach your sons not to break his houses. Because he's breaking my house, he's going to have a bad day. Amen. Teach your sons right. And don't be crying to my own, my son. No, your son was a thief and a robber. That's and right. he tried to break in my house. Yeah. So please, I'm telling you now, up front, train your children. Men, talk to your sons. Yeah. Put them aside. I talk to my son. I've been in the world, but he hasn't been where I've been at. See, I raised my son to be not like I was because I know what's out there. Yeah. So I pulled him out of that. Yeah. So I pulled him up into a world of godliness. Yeah. So I got yeah. saved. I got my life together. Yeah. So I began to raise him. Yeah. It said train up, in the child, train up a child in the way that should go. That's right. So that's what I did. I got God in my life, yeah. and I trained my child up how God, how he's supposed to be. Amen. A man in his household first. Yes. The man is the head if he's not crazy. Yes. If he's crazy, he need to head his way out the door. Yes. Amen. 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 We're going to go to the next scripture. Amen. Genesis 16, 1 through 6. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, bare him no children. And she had a handmaid, an Egyptian whose name was Hagar. Yes. And Sarai said unto Abram, Behold now, the Lord hath prevented thee from bearing. I pray thee, go in unto my maid, and it may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abram hearkened to the voice of Sarai. And Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, after Abram had dealt ten years in the land of Canaan. You can't do that. You Amen. cannot do that. Amen. Woman, you are out of order. That's right. That man cannot go into your handmaid. That's right. He can't go into your maid, or he can't go into your secretary. He can't go into your best friend. That's right. If y'all married a husband and wife, that's what's going to be your husband. If God told you to do something, you need to do it. That's right. He, God told y'all what to do. Right. Man and woman, God told y'all. He gave you clear instruction. Sarah, you're going to have a baby. Uh-huh. That's what God said. That's right. Why are you going to determine what God said because you don't believe? That's right. Amen. Why? Why? You a devil. You trying to do you trying to be God. Mm-hmm. You getting out of your lane again. That's right, amen. When you get out of your lane, you call a shipwreck. Yeah. If I'm going down the highway and I get out of my lane, I'm gonna get hit somebody's head on. That's right. And somebody's gonna die. Or somebody's gonna be in the hospital. It's gonna be a bad day. Right. Stay in your lane. Amen. Man, right. look here. When your wife tells you to do something and you know it's not a God, and God told you what he's gonna do. Stand up, be a man. Say, no, that ain't right. Amen. You the man, what she gonna do? Mm-hmm. You the, you the, she's the weaker vessel. She don't run the household. What? You run the household. That's right. You tell him, you tell that woman, sit down somewhere. God said he gonna do it. That's right. Wait on God. That's right. Because you're gonna get yourself a mess up. Mm-hmm. Abra- Abra- Abraham was a good man, but he did not do what God said do. Amen. He went in there, he took that woman, went on in there. And he going to mess up. Mm-hmm. He going to mess up what God told him not to do. Amen. God said she going to have a baby. She going to have a baby. That's right. what say. God said he going to give you a job. He going to give you a job. Amen. He didn't say go out there and sell your body. No. He didn't say get on that stripper pole. No. He didn't say go out there and sell no drugs. No. God said he going to provide you a job. That's I don't care how long you been in jail. Go out there and cut some grass. Mm-hmm. It's a job. That's Go out there and pick up some cans. Yeah. You know what? I, when I didn't have a job, I used to go scrap. I had a truck. My uh, elder gave me at the floor, knowing him and his wife. I thank him for that. You know what I did that truck? I worked. Amen. I went up and picked up scrap for my family. And I made two or three hundred dollars a day. Amen. And I had another job beside that. Yes. You know, I worked because I ain't going to go out there and rob and steal nobody. No. People work too hard to get what they got. That's right. You got to do what God said do. Get up and work. That's it don't cost you nothing. That's right. Somebody will help you. Get on your knees and pray. That's what the problem with you won't pray. They'll talk prayers out the school yes. and they won't even pray in church no more. Right, they come right. to church and sing all day. Right. And think it's and think it's and think it's good. Right. And they'll come and sing you. Sing it will not take you to heaven. That's right. Sing it will not take you to heaven. That's right. I, sing it will not take you to heaven. Right. It's the word. The word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Yes. It's the word of God that's going to take you to heaven. Yes. Not no singing. You need to stop your mess yes. and put on your Sunday bed yes. and go get saved. Yes. And, and first of all, water ain't going to save you. That's I don't right. care how many times you get baptized. That's right. You go down in water 
a, a wet devil come up a dry devil. That's right. You know what? You need to get saved. Right. For real. You need to repent of your sin. Amen. Because you ain't saved because you can't go get baptized. Then you go out there drinking. Uh-huh. Right. I, have, I know somebody that went and got baptized and they turned to a lesbian. Uh-huh. So the water saved them? No. The water changed them from what they did? No. The water did not do it. No. They got down, went down in that water, got baptized, and they said, oh, they got baptized. Oh, for real? Uh-huh. Then next week they said, oh, she, went, she got a girlfriend uh-huh. on Facebook. Uh-huh. So she got baptized last week, so now she got a, a, a girlfriend? Uh-huh. What kind of girlfriend? Uh-huh. You know how they do that? Where they do that at? Uh-huh. Where they do that at? Well, you go get baptized, you turn into a homosexual. No. Huh? Not so. People, the more people get baptized, they're going away from God. That's right. They're not coming to God. That's right. You know, I know somebody got baptized, they won't speak to their bishop no more. You right. Huh? That's so right. where did that help? Where did that baptize that you wanted so bad? Uh-huh. You wanted so bad, and it didn't even help you. It touched you away from God. Uh-huh. You're on your way to being a reprobate. Yeah. Right here, man, fooling with God, man. Yeah. Touch not my anointing, do my prophet no harm. Yeah. That's God's word. That's right. You can't destroy from that. Yeah. That's God's word. Yeah. Okay, how you put it? That's God's word. Yeah. You can't do the man of God no kind of way. Yeah. And think you're going to profit? That's because you got a little money? That's right. The rich man ended up in hell. That's the right. love of money is rule of all evil. That's right. Joker, That's you ain't got nothing. That's right. You ain't got nothing. That's right. You ain't got nothing. You on your way to hell. <laughs> You ain't a real man of God. That's right. you, you're a real man of God. Humble yourself yeah. on the mighty hand of God. Yeah. Come and see your bishop. That's Talk right. to him. That's Take right. him out to dinner. That's do right. right. Yeah. Start your works all over again. Yeah. If you want to do the work of God, yeah. you want to be a man of God, stand up be a man of God and humble yourself. That's right. And show God. Yeah. Show God you're a real man of God. Yeah. If you say you're a man of God, That's you right. say he called you, yeah. do what God say do then. That's yeah. right. Show brotherly love. Yeah. Let brotherly love continue. That's the word. That's right. You say you know the word, but well, do the word. That's right. Show me. Don't be on Facebook talking about what you got. Show me God. Yes. I want to see God in you. I want to see the right. world. That's it says right. love not the world. Yeah. Meaning the thing that's in the world. Yeah. That's what the word say. Right. Where are we going to start living the word? Yeah. And start living the world. Yeah. That's what you live. You live in the world. You out there in the world doing what the world say do. Right. You ain't living what God say. What God say do. We got to do what God say do. Right. We got to start following the word of God, That's not right. man, though. No. Right. You better get your life in order. Right. Get your household in order. Amen. Right. Amen. Go to the next scripture. Amen. Amen. Matthew 26, 14 through 16. All right. Amen. Amen. The one of the twelve, called Judas Iscariot, went unto the chief priest and said unto them, what will ye give me, and I will deliver him unto you? And they coveted with him for thirty pieces of silver. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Amen. Look at that. Now, this one of the apostles. This one of the apostles, mm-hmm. Judas Iscariot. This one of the apostles that God chose yeah. to be follow him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, God chose this man, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, chose this man. To be up under him. To do his will. And he gave Jesus up for 30 pieces of silver. Uh-huh. 30 pieces. The love of money. You uh-huh. devil you. Yes. That's, what, that's what people do today. Yes. People turn you in for money. Oh, yes. They turn their bishop in for money. Yes. They turn their pastor in for money. Oh, yes. They turn a missionary in for money. Right. They turn a brother or saint in for money. Right. Turn their back on them for the love of money. Yes. It said, love of money is the rule of all evil. Yes, that's right. That's, that's what right. Judas did, and they're doing it right now. Yes. I don't care who called you or who said you called. You still can backslide. That's right. You, yes. you, ain't, you ain't exempt. For, you ain't what made to heaven yet. That's right. That's you still right. living, walking around here. You're right. I hurt sometimes. My, my body, too. I hurt sometimes, too, because of the loss of a loved one. Mm-hmm. Just because somebody, you lost somebody, you need to seek God the more. Yeah. Don't get this, this, this ancient in your system that, you know, nobody loves you, nobody cares about you. Uh-huh. That's the devil telling you that. That's right. That's right. We love you. That's we right. love all the saints. We love people yes. because we are saints. Saints love people. That's right. And that's what we do for yes. people. We love them. Amen. We ain't trying to push nobody away or kick nobody away. That's right. But sin is the issue. Amen. 
Yes. Sin is the issue. Yes. We will not tolerate sin. That's right. And at number 13, That's right. I don't care what church you go to, if you're not preaching the word of God, you on your way to hell. That's right. Because you ain't telling the people the truth. That's right. You got to tell people the truth. That's right. Look here, Saint. Look here, world. Look here. Valentine's Day is a worldly thing. Yeah. It's not for the saints. That's right. That's right. If you yeah. want to buy your wife something, buy your wife something every day. Don't wait the one day where the world tells you to buy your wife something. Right. Right. Buy your wife something now. Yes. Buy, give your wife some money. Get your wife a 401k. Yeah. Bring her some stock. Yeah. Matter of fact, get your her exercise machine. Yeah. She don't need no candy. Come on. Amen. Let's do something for our wives. Let's do something special now. Don't wait till a day. You know, now her birthday, you do something special for her birthday. You do something for your wife every day. Matter of fact, take her out to dinner and you pay for it. You pay for it. Why she got always pull out her credit card? You pay for it. You got some, you go to work. Well, no, you might not have no job. <laughs> I tell you what, you go you go find some job. You go get a little money from somewhere. Yes, go get some real work where you get a W two that come with it. Uh-huh. Don't don't buy the uh, drug dealing is not a career. No, 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 that will get you that, that will get you knocked upside the head. Oh, yes. What you need to do get a real job. Go cut go cut some grass. Go do some paint. Go put some floors in. They have classes at Home Depot for That's free. Right. Go learn some. You ain't doing that at home. Get up and go do something. Amen. Pray to God and he will lead you and guide you in all truth. That's right. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all things shall be added unto you. Amen. If you're not doing it, if he's not doing it, woman, get rid of him. Mm-hmm. Because he don't want nothing anyway. That's right. He wants you to go buy him another PlayStation game. That's what he wants to do. Right. Go to the next scripture. Amen. 1 Kings 21, 1 through 10. And it came to pass after these things that Naboth, the Jezreelite, had a vineyard, which was in Jezreel, hard by the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. And Ahab spake unto Naboth, saying, Give me thy vineyard, that I may have it for a garden of herbs, because it is near unto my house, Uh and I will give thee for it a better vineyard than, than it. Or it seem good to thee, I will give thee the work of it in money. Yes. And Naboth said to Ahab, The Lord forbid it me that I should go, that I should give inheritance of my fathers unto thee. That's right. And Ahab came into the house heavy and displeased because of the word which Naboth the Jezreelite had spoken to him. For he said, I will not give thee the inheritance of my father. And he laid him down upon his bed and turned away his face and would eat no bread. Mm. But Jezebel, his wife, came to him Jezebel. and said unto him, Why is thy spirit so sad uh-huh. that thou eatest no bread? Yes. And he said unto her, Because I speak unto Naboth the Jezreelite, and said unto him, Give me thy vineyard for money, or else if it please thee, I will give thee another vineyard for it. And he answered, I will not give thee my vineyard. What? And Jezebel, his wife, said unto him, Doest thou not govern the kingdom of Israel? Arise and eat bread, and let thine heart be merry. I will give thee thy vineyard of of Naboth, the Jezreelite. (laughs) So she wrote letters in in Ahab's name Uh and sealed them with his seal and sent the letters unto the elders, to the nobles that were in this city, dwelling with Naboth. And she wrote in the letter saying, Proclaim it fast and set Naboth on high among the people. And set two men, sons of Belial, before him to bear witness against him, saying, Thou didst blaspheme God and the king, and then carry him out and stone him that he may die. Look at them. You see how that woman get in there and mess up things? Man, you cannot be a jelly bag. Run your household. You see how that woman messed up and messed that up? You see what Jezebel did? Yes. She took hold and she going to step into that man's pants and try to do what he's supposed to be doing. He the man. He's supposed to be in charge of everything. Yes. She yes. took ownership of what he's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. So he, she might well be the queen. Yes. 
and the king. Uh-huh. She both of them. She wearing both pants. Don't be no crybaby. Don't be no jelly bat. Be the man of your household. Don't be no jelly bat. 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 Run your household. Like God tell you to run it. You can't let the woman do all the, the business. Here come the here come the crowd to the door, knock on the door. Hey, hey, you owe this bill. We need that furniture up out there. You push the wife. Go on, honey. Go on, go on. Go see what they want. Go on, go, 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 go talk to them. Tell them, tell them we'll come back. No, you get your lazy butt up there. You're going to talk to them. Amen. You all know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, what you need? And then they're going to calm down. They're like, oh, well, well, well we spoke to you. didn't pay your. I'm going to make my payment. Get away from my door. That's you right. be the man of your household. That's Don't send your right. wife up there to talk to them people. That's right. You just want to be the man? That's right. You want them, you want them goodies at nighttime? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah, you want them goodies. Uh-huh. Now, suppose she tell you, no, nah, she ain't getting you, no, nah. then you mad. Oh, I forgot you a cry, baby. You're going to go cry again. <laughs> so you, you can't win. That's you right. got the man up. That's right. Long as you be a cry, baby, she going to forever be head of the household. Yeah. And you're going to be out of order. So that means the children ain't going to respect you. That's the right. children going to down you and they're going to talk bad to you. That's they're going right. to cuss you out. Yeah. And they're going to do what they want to do because you ain't the man. Because the woman run over you, so the children going to run over you. Right. So then, and so it's going to be the woman, the children. And and, and, no, the dog, he ain't got no, the dog don't need to talk to him. <laughs> then it's going to be the dog. Then it's going to be you. Because the dog, y'all going to take his food. He might be up there eating steak. The dog going to take the steak off the plate. And the dog going to eat it. That's you ain't got no win. Nobody respect you because you ain't man of your household. Until you get, until you man up, nobody going to respect you. And you're going to end up in a divorce court or out there on the street because nobody will respect you. Because right. you're not a real man of your household. That's right. You know, when you're on the to- bottom totem pole, you're on your way out the door. That's, That's, right. Right. That's where you out. First That's right. You first one to go. Amen. Go to the next scripture. Amen. First of all, God told the man what not to do. Amen. Clear instructions. Read that again. Amen. Clear instructions. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest eat freely, but the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a help me. For him. A help me. A help me. A help me. God going to make a help me for the man. Amen. Now he is. We going to read this. We going to find out what help me is. And who is this help me. Go ahead. Amen. Verse 22. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man. Made he a woman. And brought her unto the man. Yes. And Adam said. This is now bone of my bones. And flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Yes. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother mm. and shall cleave to his own wife and they shall be one flesh. Amen. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Amen. Look here. Male and female. Yes. God did make male and male. A female and female. Right. You see how what God did? This is what God did. So that means telling you up front what you're doing. If, that, if you land next to a woman and you're a woman, that's not of God. That's wrong. Amen. That's wrong. That's sodomy. Amen. That's, you're a sodomite. Yeah. You need to get up, tell her, say this wrong. You need to leave. You need to get up out of my house. Amen. Be a real woman. Come on, man, if you land to a hard-led man next to you, Look like you got the same haircut you got. Got hair all over his, his legs and his toes be scratching you. Get up out that bed Amen. and say this ain't right. That's right. Sausage do not go with sausage. That's right. 
You need some pancakes up in there. <laughs> it don't work. Right. When you go to IHOP, you'll get a plate full of sausages. That's right. You'll get some pancakes right. with them sausages. That's right. You can't do that. God said it. Male and male. Female and female is not of God. It's wrong. That's Solomon. You got to have some sausage and pancakes. You can't have no plate full of sausage. But they got red links. They got turkey links. They got pork links. They got chicken links. They got all kinds of links. You know they got brown links. They got white links. They can't go together. You need to put some pancakes up right now. You need some red pancakes, some blue pancakes, some green pancakes. Any kind of pancake, it don't matter. You need some pancakes up in there in that bedroom. You got to do it. Man up. God made male and female. That's what he made. That's what God gave them. And that's what you got to do. You can't do it no any other way. Any other way, you're a liar. And the truth ain't in you. Amen. And look here. God is so great. She gave us woman. Oh, woman so soft. Woman so good. Woman so wholesome. Woman take care of the children. Woman go out there and take care of you. Yeah. But you with another man, that man can't take care of you like that woman. No. It's going to be That's frowned right. upon. That's and I don't right. care what the world say. Yeah. That's right. God say male and female. That's, right. That's, what, that's what my wife just read. Yeah. God said it. God said it. So yeah. you don't obey God, where you think you're going? Amen. Where you think you're going? Don't stop playing. You know. <laughs> stop playing. You know. Yes. You know where you're going. Yes. And hell, you're going to lift up your eyes. Yes. Hallelujah. I, I tell you. I tell you where you're going. I ain't going to play with it. Your pastor might not tell you, but I tell you. And hell, you're going to lift up your eyes. Keep sleeping with that man and man. Keep sleeping with that woman and woman. Yeah, you get saved. That's all you got to repent. Get on, put on your son the best and go get saved. Repent. Turn away. Do a 180 degree turn. Not no Michael Jackson because you're going to turn right back in your mess. Don't do no Michael Jackson because you're going to spin all the way back around. You're going to be right back in your mess. And she's still going to be in your bed. Right. No, you got to turn around and walk away. Right. Walk away. Just get up and walk away. You ain't got to tell them that. Walk away. Right. Turn around. Get away from that mess. That's right. Go ahead. Continue Amen. to read. Amen. Genesis 3 and 1. Now the serpent was more subtle yeah. than any beast of the field, yeah. which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, have God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the, of the trees of the garden. Yes. But the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Mm. For God doeth, doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Right. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, mm. and that it was pleasant to her eyes, mm. and a tree to be desired to make one wise, Don't do it. she took of the fruit thereof, and it. did eat. She did it. Amen. And gave yeah. also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. What? Yeah. He did it? You saw that? Now God told him already. Now what he gonna do? That because she look good, smell good, she fine like that. Don't do it. I don't care how good it look. God told you what to do. God told you. Now God told you. Then he gave you a woman. Oh yeah, she fine in the time of 29. Oh, she look good. Oh, her hair all long. She got pretty skin, soft as butter. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't care how fine she is. I don't care what she, how good she do it to you. Don't do it because God said don't do it. Don't let her get you in the bedroom. Y'all don't have a good night. You in there talking in that, that bedroom. That's when they want to start the conversation in the bedroom. At, you know, when the man more vulnerable. Pillow talk. Say it, the pillow talk. You know, oh, you, hey, baby, come on and eat this. You know. Now, you know, God already told you don't do it. Uh -huh. That's why you got to keep third party out. Come on, man. Huh? Come on now. How you going to bring somebody that's not married, don't have nobody, telling you what to do? Yes. You ain't heard me. Yes. How somebody ain't got no wife or no husband, but they're going to tell you what to do? Right. Huh? Hell no. You can't do that. That's right. Keep that third party out. Yes. 
tell your girlfriend, uh, 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 tell the, the, the man that's your friend, he ain't got no woman. He don't been through nine or ten wives, Come on now. but he gonna tell you. He can't tell you nothing. Right. He can't. What he need to do is sit down somewhere and be quiet. Right. And you need to be a man and tell him. Don't be like, "Well, you right, brother." No, don't receive that. No, no, say no, no, bro. You ain't right. How you gonna tell me you ain't got no wife? And the one you with ain't sure. Come on, man. Come on. Please tell these people. You got to stand up and be a man in your household and tell these people. When you going to be the man? You got to be the man. 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 You the man. You the man. So you be the man. You stand up. You tell that woman. You tell that man. It's not so in my household. Right. For me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Amen. Say, hold on to God. Yeah. Better days ahead. Yeah. Hold on to God, say. Yeah. Better days ahead. Yeah. Hold on to God, yeah. say. Yeah. Better days ahead. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you.